three, four, two, one is back. And I'm going to show you why. This is testing tactics where I test community tactics and I'll let you know if they're worth it or not. Today, we've got a good one. We've got a spicy one. We've got a three, four, two, one. Last year, it was meta. This year, I found a good one. This tactic is from a pirate. Yeah, that's right, a pirate. This guy is called FC Pirate. You can find him on Twitter. I will put his link right there. We played our qualifiers with it. We won six, we lost one. We gave the rest away because six is fine for me. I'm gonna show the goals we scored, let you know my thoughts on the tactic, and then actually show you the tactics. Let's go. Here we've got some next day post-com goals. So I will run you through some of the goals we scored. It was actually last night and give you a bit of an explanation. So you'll see a lot of the work done by the left mid and the right mid because, you know, they hug the touchline. You have the centre forward, well, he's the striker, who drops back. So he does score goals, but a lot of the goals come from players like Sun and Salah because they're like the left striker, right striker with the centre striker just dropping back in into that false nine position. Again, a lot of the goals you'll see will be coming in to Sun's feet because that's just naturally the way the, the formation plays. A lot of good stuff about this formation as well is if you look how wide the players get. So Lorente finds Kavara. Kavara does loads of work in this formation for me. Loads of good work down the wing, finds Salah, and as you can imagine, cutback. The formation is key for cutbacks. If, you, if that's the way you want to play, it's very meta. Left mid, right mid, doing the work down the wing. As you can see, Kavara doing a few skills. You won't be surprised to see. Cutback, cutback for one extra pass for luck. Goal. That's pretty much how the formation works, but a lot of your goals will come from your left your left forward and your right forward. The centre striker, he does score, but as I said, it's that drop back kind of feature, that false nine. He like creates a lot. So from this, you can see Gallo really wide, attacking down the wings. In we come, have a guess. Cut back, cut back, goal. I know it is a bit boring, but it's so meta right now and it gives you so many options going forwards. This is just off a free kick. You know, De Bruyne getting forwards, scores goals. I mean, that's a bit more of a bonus, but you'll see from a lot of these goals, you've got four, sometimes even five attacking options going forwards. Left mid, left striker, striker, right striker, and then right mid. So you've got the option for the extra passes all the time. And that's the thing which is kind of most value about this formation. Getting wide, you know, abusing the, you know, the, the skill moves and, you know, the cutbacks. I say Kvara just cutting it back. And a lot of the goals, as I said, they'll come from they'll come from your left strikers and right strikers. So this is this is kickoff, but you know you've got to score some kickoffs. You'll notice as as we keep showing, Sun's really good. If you haven't done Sun, you should definitely do Sun. Great player. Options here, you know, your centre mids pick up the ball. You've got your three centre backs, and then boom, your left mid is wide or your right mid is wide. There's a you know there's a player lock in there, not necessarily needed, but you can look, you can also you know guess what's coming, pass, extra pass. I mean, it turns on it in a bit of a weird space. Goal, the Bruyne here. I think this is probably one of the, the few goals I actually scored from down the middle. It's just so congested in the middle. Aspas now coming out wide, finding Salah. Here we go. You love to see it. So as you can see, scored a lot of goals, creating chances easy. The attacking movements were really fluid. Really liked it. The negatives is playing with a free back is actually quite difficult because I haven't played with one for a long time. And if you're slightly aggressive with your centre back, you're going to get caught out. And you are obviously prone to being countered down the wings. And it is kind of wing cut back central. But with three players in the box, you do have the ability to kind of like press the ball holder and still cover like the, the cuts across. Overall, I really liked it. Six and one as well is, is considering it's the first time I've used it. I was happy with it. I would definitely be using it more and I would definitely recommend you give it a try. But anyway, I know what you want to know. I know you're interested. I know you're only here for the details. You know, you've got this far. You've seen the goals. You've seen the smooth attacking play. You've seen you can see goals. You just want to know what the tactic is now. That's too much waffling, right? Too much going on. Let's get into the tactic. This is the tactic. Defensive style, balanced. Width, 35. Depth, 69. Build up plays, balanced. Chance creation, forward runs, which is something I haven't used before, so that's interesting. Players in the box, seven. Then corners and free kicks, two. You can have whatever you want on that one. 
So the instructions now, this is where it gets a little spicy. So the striker, you want on stay forward, false nine. The left forward, you want on drift wide, getting behind, stay forward. The right forward, drift wide, getting behind, stay forward. The left mid and right mid on come back on defense, stay wide, come short, get into the box for the cross. That's for left and right mid. And then the two center mids, which was the one that confused me just a little. You want stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for cross. That is it, not cover center. Seems a bit crazy, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't too sure how it will play out, but trust me, it works. Give it a try, let me know how you get on. Be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, because I drop these videos weekly, kind of. So, until next time.